what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is trip underscore hp junkie and this channel is strictly devoted to doing motor vlogs on harley davidson motorcycles part installs events rides uh, we pretty much do everything wheelie sessions um, bike shows so yeah welcome back to the channel today we are on the dyna uh, this is the first time I've ridden it since we put the new Shinco sticky tires on it, the 777s, and I was sick for a couple days, and then we had some crappy weather for a couple days, so... The Dyna's just been sitting in the garage all lonely. Well, Betty's in there, so... <laughs> uh, Betty kept her company, so... But yeah, we're just taking it down the road here to try to scrub these tires a little bit. Uh, they feel a little bit different than the other ones. Obviously, they're brand new. Um, this brings me to a point that I wanted to bring up during this motor vlog, which is going to be number 25. It's been a minute since I've done a proper uh, traditional motor vlog, but yeah, this is number 25. And anytime you get a set of new tires, you want to go easy on them for 50 miles that's kind of been my rule of thumb that i've lived by for the last like 12 years i've been riding motorcycles and it seems to work out pretty good so uh, yeah we're just going down to our little spot that we have in back hopefully i'll be able to get on this thing a little bit more before sunday because i want to hit up the lot again um really cool i've had a bunch of guys locally that oh crap <laughs> off-roading there anyways I've had a bunch of guys reaching out to me local here that are stunners man and uh huge shout out to those dudes they actually gave me uh permission to come ride and practice with them so um i kind of feel like a noob when it comes to that because these guys are are super good and uh you know doing circles on sport bikes and whatnot but at the same time like being around those type of caliber guys well it's got to help me learn you know it's uh kind of going back to sports when you were a kid you know when when you played with guys that are better than you in any sport feels good to be back on this thing again but yeah playing with any guys that are better than you in any sport you obviously learn you grow you get better so i'm thinking it's gonna work out that same way i don't know we'll see but but yeah um another thing that's been on the agenda for a proper motor vlog is i've been getting a bunch of questions about the gauge setup on this super glide um obviously the super glides only came with the speedometer i added the tack and that would not have been possible without gorilla cables um they didn't harley davidson made an add-on tack for these i'm not entirely sure if they made the harness i'm assuming they would have to have made the harness but um until gorilla cables made this harness i didn't even know it was possible so yeah, they make a plug and play harness that you can add this, oh look at all these leaves, that you can add a tag to the FXD. Um, they also make the harnesses that on the uh, Dyna Lowrider S's and I believe all Lowriders have the tack and speedo down here on the tank. Gorilla Cables also has that harness that extends up and that you know you can put the gauges up here on the bars and what i wanted to do was kind of make a little video and plan on maybe hopefully do a walk around of the setup here at the end of this video to kind of explain the parts that are needed um, a bunch of people have been reaching out to me recently about how to get that done so we're going to give it a shot um it's it's really not that hard the hardest part for me when i did my research was the harness itself um, I didn't want to actually build my own harness, which is totally, I mean, you could look at the wiring diagram and get it done, but it's so much nicer 
just to plug everything in you know buy you a harness and and, and plug it all up so yeah that's that's what we're gonna do uh hopefully we get down to our secret spot here there's nobody it might be closed it's it's been crazy here so in in middle tennessee when the time switches back an hour um we actually it gets dark here at like four o'clock so i mean you can kind of see the sun over there it's four o'clock and uh you know give it about 30 minutes it's going to be dark which is weird um, it only lasts for uh, i think like a month or two but then goes right back so 